In this lesson, we will explore the history and controversy surrounding the proper time of observing Easter. Ecclesiastical history reveals three distinct phases of this dispute, each with its own set of challenges and resolutions. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses, and today's topic is the Easter controversy. The Paschal controversy in the early Christian church was mainly about whether Easter should be celebrated on a weekday or on Sunday. The dioceses of Asia believed that the feast of Easter should always be observed on the 14th day of the moon, which was the day the Jews sacrificed the lamb, and that the fast should end on that day regardless of the day of the week. However, the churches in the rest of the world observe the tradition of ending the fast only on the day of the resurrection of Jesus. The controversy led to synods and assemblies of bishops, who eventually decreed that the resurrection should only be celebrated on Sunday and that the Paschal fast should end on that day. The controversy had existed since at least the time of Pope Sixtus, about AD 120, and St. Polycarp had even come to Rome to discuss the matter with Pope Anicetus, but they could not come to an agreement. Those who observed Easter with the Jews were called quartodecimans, but this usage hardly extended beyond Asia Minor. After Pope Victor's strong measures around AD 190, the quartodecimans gradually dwindled away. The second phase of the Easter controversy of the early Christian church centered on the determination of the Sunday on which to celebrate Easter. The Council of Nicaea in AD 325 resolved the issue by ruling that Easter must be celebrated on the same Sunday throughout the world, following the 14th day of the Paschal Moon, which was to be accounted as the Paschal Moon, whose 14th day followed the spring equinox. The Church of Alexandria was tasked with determining the proper date of Easter and communicating it to the rest of the world. The ruling did not immediately win universal acceptance among Syrian Christians, as evidenced by the strongly worded first canon of the Council of Antioch in AD 341. Rome's attempts to determine Easter accurately led to the third phase of the Paschal Controversy, which was mainly due to the divergent cycles Rome had adopted and rejected. British Christians, who followed an ancient system of Easter computation that Rome had abandoned, were found by Roman missionaries. The British and Irish Christians celebrated Easter on a Sunday and were accused of being quartodecimans, but they actually observed an 8-4 year cycle. It is impossible to determine what system they followed, but it is believed they derived their rule for determining Easter from Asia Minor. The controversy prevented fraternization between the British Christians and the Roman missionaries until the Synod of Whitby in AD 664, when the Christians of Northern Britain accepted the Roman system. However, in Ireland and parts of the North, some years passed before the adoption of the Roman Easter became widespread. Throughout these debates, it is important to remember that the determination of Easter was primarily a matter of ecclesiastical discipline and not of astronomical science. The Church sought to establish a uniform date for Easter that could be observed by all Christians worldwide. Today, Easter Sunday is observed as the first Sunday following the first full moon after the 21st of March, with the earliest possible date being the 22nd of March and the latest being the 25th of April. In conclusion, the history of the Easter controversy teaches us a valuable life lesson about the importance of unity and compromise within a community. Despite differing opinions and practices, Christians ultimately came together to establish a shared tradition that is still observed today, and that was the Easter controversy in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever and ever.